Hello, and welcome to Rental24H.com. Today, we're diving into the world of car hire at Milan Malpensa Airport. Here you will learn about rental companies, their general locations, payment options, insurance prices, and many more. So, keep watching. First up, let's talk about getting to your car rental. At Milan Malpensa Airport, companies like Autovia, Centaro, Green Motion, and Optimo Rent offer shuttle buses to take you to their off-site locations. But be sure to check where to catch your shuttle bus upon arrival. Customers with car rental reservations should take the marked exits at Malpensa Airport Terminal 1 to get to the shuttle bus stops. From departure zone of Terminal 2, shuttle buses also pick up customers. Note that some companies you can reach on the airport territory right inside the terminal. And now, let's dive into Milan Malpensa Airport car rental insurance prices. Companies like Budget, Autovia, Centaro, and Key and Go offer complete cover packages with zero excess, providing peace of mind during your rental. While the average expense for the complete cover package stands at 35 euros per day, the personal accident insurance average price is 12 euros per day. However, be cautious with companies like Drivalia, which could hold as high as 5,000 euro. At the rental desk, be prepared for credit card holds and deposits. Speaking of deposits, the cheapest deposit hold is offered by Locato, which is just one cent. On the other end of the spectrum, Thrifty imposes the highest deposit of 2,600 euro. Meanwhile, 950 euros is the average deposit made by companies. However, keep in mind that the deposit amount may change based on the season, car class, payment method, and other circumstances. For the most recent information, please check our website or get in touch with the supplier. Be sure that you have the necessary amount on your credit card for renting a car, deposit hold, extra equipment you will take, insurance and possible fees after drop-off, like late return fee. A quick tip. Before driving off, snap some photos of your rental car. This can help prevent false damage claims when you return the vehicle. Trust us, it's worth the extra five minutes. Nevertheless, there is good news for those without a credit card. Avis, Budget, Centaro, Dollar, Hertz, Keddy, Locato, Majori, Sixth, and Thrifty accept debit cards for car hire payments, making it more convenient for travelers. Regarding travel restrictions, pay attention to where you can go. With companies such as Autovia, B-Rent, Centaro, and Ecohia, you can venture into neighboring countries like Austria, France, Switzerland, and others that you can see on the map for an additional charge of five euro and 74 cents per day plus tax. Additionally, keep in mind that certain regions like Campania and Publia have their special conditions. As for budget, there are certain car groups allowed for Slovenia, Croatia, and the Czech Republic. Also, check out that in Eurocar, there are a couple of car brands, Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, and BMW, that are not allowed for such cross-border trips. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with any questions or tips of your own. As for extras, prices can vary. For example, GPS is free for sixth cars, but with companies like Autovia, B-Rent, Centaro, and others, prices usually start from €5 Euro per day. Child seats can range from €8.95 Euro per day with Gold Car to possibly €64 Euro per day with others. A young driver charge starts from €8.95 Euro per day for Nolajire. Be sure to check for exact rates from your rental agency. Before we wrap up, let's touch on some location-specific facts. And don't forget about toll roads. Milan's motorways have varying tolls. In case you pay without a company, some motorways have indicative toll prices. If you go from Milan to Rome, you should pay €41.90. And for those who drive from Milan to Bari, the price of toll amounts to €64.40. And from Milan to San Remo, the toll road price is €25.50. Euro also note that some car hire agencies provide toll rates on request, so better contact your chosen company to discuss this question. Now let's talk about the toll road payment process. Remittance can be done at toll gates or via the telepass onboard unit. When crossing boards, 
Pay attention to tolled motorways and several tunnels in the Italian Alps on the border with France and Switzerland. The price of the passage of such a tunnel ranges from 11 to 55 euros. If you leave the motorway or tunnel without paying the toll, you will pay a fee between 87 and 344 euros. Milan has a low emission zone. It restricts high polluting vehicles and encourages cleaner transport. Pay attention to this zone and don't confuse it with ZTL zones. We have explained the latter in our video about Milan Bergamo Airport car hire. Certain cars may be allowed in LEZ zone, such as electric vehicles, hybrids and vehicles powered by alternative fuels. Only vehicles that meet the required Euro standards are allowed to enter this zone. The LEZ zone operates from Monday to Friday in a specific time frame. City driving in Milan is chaotic. Pedestrians disregard red lights, while mopeds, scooters and other vehicles approach from all angles. Stay vigilant on the roads. Italians may drive more impatiently than Northern Europeans, but caution is key as it's no different from driving anywhere else in the world. And there you have it, crucial info and policies for car hire at Milan Malpensa Airport. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and insights. Safe travels!